I've always been curious about how coarse sand is actually turned into transparent glass. Today I finally found out. It turns out, the sand used to make glass is not ordinary sand, but rather silica sand with a high purity of silicon dioxide. And the sand particles are relatively fine and uniform. It is usually sourced from specific silica sand deposits. Silica sand is the main raw material for making glass, accounting for about 70% of the total raw materials. In addition, there is 15% soda ash and 10% limestone. Soda ash and limestone serve to lower the melting point and enhance the stability of the glass respectively. There is also 5% of other auxiliary materials used to adjust the physical properties and appearance of the glass before producing glass. To further improve the purity of the silica sand, the sand for making glass will undergo washing, sitting in various other processing methods, and the soda ash and limestone are dried. The processed raw materials are then sent separately into a batching machine. These raw materials are weighed and mixed according to a ratio. Then, the mixed raw materials are sent into a furnace. For heating, the feeding machine will push the raw materials into the furnace bit by bit. Flames will be sprayed alternately from both sides of the furnace, bringing the temperature to around 1,600 degrees Celsius. At this point, the silica sand and other raw materials undergo a chemical reaction, forming molten silicate. The glass form is like viscous honey. Subsequently, the molten glass liquid is sent to a tin bath. A tin bath is a large flat tank filled with molten tin metal. The glass liquid floats on the surface of the molten tin and spreads out naturally, forming a flat and smooth surface. This is the float glass process. After the float glass flows out of the tin bath, it then enters a long cooling channel to cool it down evenly and eliminate the internal stress in the glass, preventing the glass from deforming or cracking. When the glass is completely cooled, it will then be as needed, cut into glass plates of different sizes. And depending on the different uses of the glass, it can also undergo further processing, such as laminated glass, tempered glass, and coated glass, etc. So how are glass containers produced? It is actually that the molten glass after being heated enters different forming stages. For example, through a blowpipe, the molten glass is blown into the desired bottle shape or by pressing the molten glass into a mold. It is shaped by pressure and some molten glass is directly processed by hand using different techniques to create more creative works of art.